Now, I have to admit that I kind of feel like I grew up with Reliant K, even though I'm far older than you guys, obviously. I'm sure we're about the same age. Far older. But I was a youth pastor, and Mm -hmm. so your early stuff, uh, you know, was always on in our youth room and uh, pre-service and all of that. And so, and then, you know, you guys transitioned as a band, and and your focus changed away from pop culture things to more Mm -hmm. thoughtful, Mm -hmm. uh, introspective things, and... You know, I think the band has all gone through a lot of things, as I have personally, yeah, too. Yeah. And so I feel like there's such a connection. And then when Air for Free came out, I was like, wow, mm-hmm. this really speaks to me, too. And That's so awesome, yeah. so many different stages of life uh, that has happened. And so the Air for Free project, there's a great story. You guys, I see pictures of you guys in a cabin. Mm-hmm. I see vintage guitars, yeah. old pianos. Uh-huh. You guys sitting on boulders. It looks really dangerous. <laughs> Um, it was me, actually very tall, yes. Tell me about how that all came together in, 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 uh, in the cabin in the woods. Yeah, some of the imagery uh, with the boulders and the album cover, that wasn't until after the album was entirely finished that it, we did that. But you didn't have to before, tell us, Well, I just thought I'd give it away. <laughs> uh, but before, it was very intentional, the idea of this cabin, this cottage. We, we called it the cottage. I don't know why. But uh, it was we were just looking for a non-studio space to document our songs you know to record our songs we were looking for a place that had a certain feeling that had a certain story behind it we were looking for a place that was a little bit detached from our houses but close enough we could drive to every day right and we were looking for some place so i think only our manager stopped by like twice while we were there and maybe one other friend stopped by one time and that so it was just us out there and mark our producer and it was great. It was this phenomenal. We actually did it. It's we found this house on Airbnb. It's connected to the back of a dairy farm, like a pretty large dairy farm. And so they have multiple houses on the property, and there were just like pigs and goats and dogs. Nice. And we walked in, and it just it, it's in Tennessee. It was about an hour south of Nashville, but it felt like Ohio. It felt like this blue collar. It's like this A-frame little. Mm-hmm just call it cottage you know it just just felt like a normal house uh like your grandma's house or like a you know just a little guest house out back and matt and me and mark walked into it and as soon as we walked in we we're just like this is the place and then then we looked out and there's like goats trying to climb on our car and we're just <laughs> like this it just felt perfect we were like this this is where we need to make a record that is perfect and so uh we did most of the recording there and then uh after uh, I don't know. I, just, I, w- I had this idea for the imaging for the album as being, you know, kind of a picture of Matt and I, but where everything else, we're kind of just like in some scene. We're like a part of some scene. It's not just like us. Right. We're, we're like over here in the corner. Right. And so when we went out to do those pictures, we were not thinking, let's get an album cover. We were thinking, let's just do some pictures that feel like what this album feels like to us. And uh, it was cool how that turned out to be, that photo became kind of uh, important and iconic in that way.